from 0fxb welcome to my channel so we're playing again today and we're looking at the rsba1 software for running the icom 705 which is on the right here and we've also been playing with the sdr control for, for on the ios system and so i'm sort of looking at both of these at the moment and i thought i'd reload my software for the rsba1 which i've got from this link here on icom of course you do have to pay for this but there is a cheap version of this on ebay where you just get the software and a, a number you know a code to log in it's completely legit it's not illegal and it's only about 25 pounds um, so here it is here so we've got the once you run and install the program you have two windows open one is the actual what you're going to see the radio the other one is setting it up now i have not set this up yet because i thought even though i've done it ages ago i've actually forgotten and i thought okay well it's that like Let's just start from scratch, okay? So you've got this wizard that enables you to connect your 705 today, but it does do many other radios. So we're going to choose the bottom. You've got four choices here, and let's just focus on what we are going to do. So there is a USB cable going from my laptop to the 705, and we're going to... It's actually the easiest setup. I've done this before. Set up for a local PC directly connect the radio and pc so that's what we're going to do and it's a cable setup okay go like so and then we're going to go next it's found if i right click device manager double click ports there's my com a and it found it automatically i have done nothing next a4 address and board rate now we can double check this in the radio but i'm just doing it from default let's just see if it works so I'll leave it as it is, but I know that I'm pretty sure that A4 is right anyway. And then it's going to give the radio a name, so I won't change that. As you can see, it ends 033. Next. Finish. Okay. So as far as I know, it's going to work. So we're going to hit connect. And it says that my serial port number is 8. Remember that. I, I think it's important. Click OK. So now we'll go here. And um, we're going to turn on the radio and it says wrong port. Remember we said serial port number. So we'll turn it off, connect set. And we're going to go to the seven, IC705. It says COM port there and our mode general dual. I don't actually know what that means. Um, do I just choose? I think I choose that. 705 version. It's the newer version, isn't it? Go like that. Connection is USB. I will try wireless one day. I don't know how to do it. And then we're going to click OK. Mode has been changed. Click OK. And now we're going to hit, it says connected. Let's turn it on. And click, click. I heard the, I heard the radio. So we'll put this down as a video uh, that actually worked. First time connection via USB for the RSBA1. Now what I am interested in is, is, is whether the other software that I've got, the ios one will connect at the same time that'll be interesting let's just move this across underneath there let's see the window now remember that when you download the ios stuff sdr control you have to pay if you're using an iphone pay again if you're using an ipad and pay again if you're using a mac actually it happens i have all three but i'm not going to buy all three so it says we're connected let's get an antenna in here and uh, see what things sound like the antenna is connected it's a two meter 70 centimeter collinear in the loft and i'm just going to show you that if i change things on the radio it changes the software i do got i do need to remember how you do the now to get the scope working you do have to have a certain board rate so let's just turn on the scope i actually can't remember how to turn the scope on but that's good more fun it says scope here, you know, just here, but it's not giving me the option. I got a feeling that to do the scope, you have to have a certain board rate. See the way it, it does turn the radio on and off. That's my all star node. change mode see the 
you click on the VFO and then you scroll up and down. So, tuner if we have one. Preamp, attenuator. There's a remote setting here. That's for another video. Noise blanker. You can see it's all coming on. Put the radio into DR mode. See what it does. And that I did that on the actual radio. So look, it says DV. It hasn't held it. A and B. Bands. Click down here, the bands, filters. And you can click here, change the filters at the top here. Notch, notch two. Set mode. Remote we're not using at the moment. That's all to do with if you're using an IP address and you're not at home. Voice, that's recording. I remember there's a memory thing here, isn't there? Yeah, all your memory can add memories. The scope does work. I'll look at one of my old videos to remind myself how to turn that on. Preamp. I just wanted to show you how a very quick way of connecting it. Let's uh, look at the connection settings. My memory is it's to do with the board rate, but I think we have set it at 115. But have we set it on the radio at 115? Let's go menu, set. I've got to remember where that would be. Tone, function, probably. Board rate. So I think we'll make this video just quick connection via USB, and then we'll do a part two on how to get the scope working and everything else. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.